what kind of wickedness is this like how can some people be this wicked to their own fellow human being like some people are rich and they want to use the rich, their richness to oppress the poor this woman is a widow living in this tacky house with her children and they are poor like they barely see food to eat but in the community, some group of people that say they are rich came on announced to their house to take the only land left for them. Like this land belonged to their mom and this woman is blind. Not only blind, she is mentally ill, my people. And this guy has been the only one crying on social media for people to come and retrieve their land back and to no avail. This guy started crying and making videos right from the beginning where they started laying foundation to put fence on the land. As we speak guys, they have even finished fencing the land to the extent of putting gates they even put gates on the land my people hmm. this will not be wickedness you just go person land put fence put gate finish just to protect that that side for your own oh my eh? you guys let's watch this this guy's video let's hear what he's telling us and you guys will be really really surprised at what these people did to them they are poor and they are crying they need help like urgent help my people you guys will see his mom like oh my goodness this is really really painful like seriously i felt really really like guys you guys should just watch the video to the end for this poor woman is blind and the rich people in her village want to take over her land by force they've even started building on the land and the family is helpless they are crying every day on social media begging people to come and help them get justice unfortunately not too many persons are even interested to help them please Come to my rescue. I don't have anybody. Please, oh. I've been running this battle all by myself. My sin, please. We don't have power. We don't have strength. See, they just came home. Can you see? This is my mother's house. This is my mother's house. This is my mother's house. This is the land that is left for my mother. It, she cannot see, she has memory issue. The powerful people in town, they came, they said they want to collect our land. The only land that is left for my mother. See, oh, please help us, oh. They just started this foundation today. They said they are from the king. They have gone to bribe. They said they know people. They said they know, they know a lot of people. Please come to my aid. I don't have anybody. I don't have anyone to fight for me. They said they have money. My mother is lying down. See my mom. See my mommy. Fellow Nigerians, Epo. Epo, Epo. Fellow Nigerians, Epo, Epo. Epo, Epo, so. Epo, so. Ove Balewa. I my name is David Ahibe. Please, I really need your help. I'm crying to all Nigerians to come to my aid. My mom is blind and she's sick. She can't even walk. The only property that is left for us, some greedy rich people in our community stood up. They want to steal our only land. Please, I am begging to all Nigerians. They said we are poor. We don't know anybody. They said there's nothing we can do. Please, I am crying to all Nigerians to come and help us. I don't know what else to do. I have been crying and as I speak, there's still no one that's come out to help. As you can see, they are already erecting structures on our land. Bro, I saw a video of you crying on social media that some rich people in your village are trying to steal the only property belonging to your family. What really happened? Yes, it is very true. It happened, all started last month, February 2024. I was in the house. I just noticed that some strange people 
entered our compound. I was doing something in the kitchen. I came out. I was like, who are these people? I don't know them. I don't know where they are from. I saw the proofs with them. They were measuring our compound, measuring the land. I tried to approach them, but they didn't even give me yes. They said I should go and meet the king. I was like, ah, is it that my mom wants to sell our land and I don't know about it? I ran inside to meet my mom, as my mom cannot see and she is blind. I asked mommy, mommy, did you spoke to anybody that want to sell land? Mommy said no, that I should please. She was just crying out because she cannot see. And these people, I met, I, I came out again to meet them. They, they shouted at me that I should not disturb them, I should please. Then that's how it all started. And before I knew it, they came and they, they began to erect fence. They divided the land. And this land we are talking about is a land where we farm. They've put gates right now. We can't even have access to our own land. They said we don't know anybody. They said there's nothing we can we can do about it. We have every legal receipt. We have everything um, to show that my, my mom owns the land. And these people, they don't want to even listen to us crying out. Please kindly come to our aid. Come to our rescue, please. I am begging you in God's name. Nigerian, please help. Help us in this kind of situation. Help us from this injustice so that, so that justice can prevail. If they successfully... Because I can see that the place is fenced. They've even put a gate. If they successfully take ownership of this land, what will become the fate of your family? Ah, sir, it will, it, it will affect us very hard because we farm on this land. We, 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 we have vegetables and plantains where we eat from. My mom is sick. We are even struggling to see how we can take care of her. She is blind. If they successfully take this land, I don't know. My mom can't die over it. She's been crying, crying to Nigerians. My mom has been crying day and night. And same, same here too. I've been crying every day. I don't have help. Brothers and sisters, what kind of wickedness is this? Tell me, how would you describe this kind of situation? At this moment, I think that this family really needs our help. This video needs to be shared. Those of you that are lawyers, human rights activists, you understand the law very well. You know how to use it to achieve purposes like this. Please reach out. This family really needs our help. I saw the video on Facebook and I reached out to this young man and I had to fly down from Abuja to Ogun State. Can you tell them the exact location in Ogun State? This place we are is called Adinyo, Ogun State, very close to Lagos State, Idushaga, Lagos. Very close. You can access this place through um, Ijaye, Agbado. Here is Adinyo, very close to Nana Akori School. Alright, the address is too long. This family really needs our help. I would like to show you how this family live. I would like to show you their living condition. I think that people like this, they really need, you know, they really need help, honestly. The mom is sick. She can't even walk. She's also blind as well. And uh, some rich, greedy people are trying to take over the only property. The only thing that probably gives this family some level of self-esteem because there are so many things you can do with a landed property apart from planting on it it could be a way to actually you know it, you understand these things very well so i would like to go inside to ask your mom some questions is that okay so this family really needs our help i really don't know how we can help them anyway but we have to try hold the microphone let me carry the camera Mama, I hear that some rich people in your village are trying to steal the only property belonging to you. That's true. So, have you people tried to get help? No, oh. let I go out. Are you people that are working now? Okay, she says she has told God and just me that they've reached out to okay that's i think mama cannot really talk so well because she's not feeling fine so um <laughs> let's go out okay sorry ma what she say okay we'll, we'll go out and continue as you can see my brothers and sisters this family really need our help 
because after this video i don't really know if they have any other plans to do any other thing and um i feel like this is their only hope so i don't know who is watching this video maybe you are somebody that can actually help or maybe you know somebody that can actually help i think that we should share this video to these kinds of people because these people need justice if we don't take action right now in the next couple of days they'll even start laying foundation and eventually it would have gone so far that they will not be able to retrieve their land anymore at this moment i'm begging that please let us see how we can help this family because the way it is right now if we ignore them they have no other place to go to they have no other place to get help from so brothers and sisters are we going to just watch this video and scroll up to watch the next one or we are going to take a pause to see how we can help this family get justice our eyes have seen that this family really need help we should not just ignore them as if it's normal it is not normal this is the only thing that actually keeps this family together that makes them happy we shouldn't take it away from them so please let us see how we can actually get them help okay um i usually told i told myself that i was not going to call people's number in my videos because it's it's been causing a lot of problems you know when you call people's number in the video you make them vulnerable because in their mind they'll be thinking that every call they'll receive is actually a call that will help them but unfortunately some persons have not really been so fortunate and i thought that it would be wise to stop you know giving out people's phone number publicly because you don't know who's watching you don't know the intentions of the viewers so at this point i'm tempted to ask him to call his number i'm still thinking of what could go wrong if i ask him to call his phone number i'll risk it please because i don't want it to be in a situation where somebody who wants to really help them get justice sends me a message and i don't see the message so please see how you can reach out to them directly okay oh uh, you can reach me on this number 070 26 46 1406 this number registered on whatsapp yes it is ibilolu family is the name of the family that is involved in stealing my mother's land please nigerians come to our aid come to our rescue they said they are from the palace they said they are one of the chiefs they said they know people they said they are very flesh out they said there's nothing we can do please nigerians i cry to you come to our rescue i beg you in god's names please i beg you in god's name come to our rescue come to our aid please help us nigerians help help us so i'm crying out to you please help. my god this is really sad like this is bad like how will you do this kind of thing so they to the poor because you have money i don't even know how to really explain or to analyze this maybe uh, maybe it's because of the way uh, the person who saw the land explain and all of that we can't really really tell but the person who actually sold who gave the the, the permission for them to buy the land is is the person is actually the person that is in fault yeah because i don't really know how to place it or did they use their own power because they have money to come and oppress these poor people and take their land i cannot explain these guys help me in the comment section how will you how will you analyze this kind of thing i just pray they find a human rights activist and also some good people who are in this who, who are good to solve this kind of problem to help these people because you guys can see their situation they really need help yeah because you guys heard now they, are, they even cultivate some some uh, vegetables for them to be able to eat and all of that this is really really painful and I, I'm, I'm really really sad watching this video right now guys you guys share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to share this video because we really need this video to go viral so that other people who can also help and assist this family will do so guys all right guys don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe see you guys bye for now